My name is Ramon Hogin. I live in the small town of Fort San, Texas. It's in Howard County, close to Big Spring, Texas. The demand for water for the fracking and drilling industry is really big in, in Howard County. The impoundment pits are actually something I think that's kind of relatively new in that there are literally these, what they call themselves freshwater companies, where they go in and buy land, build this impoundment pit, then start purchasing land, small leases of land throughout the area and drill water wells there to uh, take the water from the, from the aquifer and send it into these impoundment pits and then sell that water to the oil industry for fracking. A lot of these impoundments we see where they're running literally eight and 10 inch lines. They're pumping, who knows, anywhere from 40, 50 gallons per minute. Water is gonna start reaching the tipping point where a lot of landowners will already kind of start to see and many more over the next few years will start seeing loss of, of their water come out of the water wells and that's where we'll start seeing a lot of heavy water depletion. For me, I call it a war on nature in that, you know, we're seeing these people, these companies come in and literally destroying land. I actually called my uh, state representative the other day and, and told him about a little bit about it. It's this infrared camera where we can actually see the emissions coming out of the uh, tank batteries and um, how much it is and it, it was uh, it was a big wake up call for me my, it opened my eyes as to just how much um, emissions are being put into the air and what we breathe every day it hurts to see the scarring of the land on the top side so you can only imagine what's going on 10,000 feet below us too you know it's time for us to change this thinking, this rationale, and the way we, we do, um, the way we create energy. We, we're, we're smarter people, we're Americans, and we, we have this, you know, uncanny ability to make these dramatic changes. We, we, we've seen it throughout the 200 plus years we've, we've been a country where, you know, when something needs to be done, we, we make the changes, and, and we're at that point where we know and we have the capacity and the ability and the technology and the knowledge and know-how to make better choices, to make better equipment, to do things that will be safer for everybody in this world and the animals and everything else associated with it. I really feel that a lot of the oil industry, they know the writings on the wall. I think they really know that, that their end is, is limited because we're seeing the people want something different. Globally, we're seeing that people want change. We see that and that they want to have cars that either get greater gas mileage or are electric or run off batteries. Um, we're seeing countries around the world that are um, creating their own bills and stuff to get off of fossil fuels. And that's how it starts. You start small and it grows big. And so, you know, there's some positivity, but we have to continue with creating that positivity. And, you know, and that starts in, in these places that are uh, being decimated by the oil industry.